Hi, my name is Devam Sisadraker, and I'll be doing this video on RSA encryption. First of all, what is encryption? It's defined by Google as the process of converting information or data into a code, especially to prevent unauthorized access. Why is this important? RSA encryption allows banking and credit cards to be used securely on the internet. This powers the two trillion dollar e-commerce industry. The way RSA encryption works is it creates a private key and a public key. The role of the public key is to encrypt data and can be distributed amongst everyone safely. The role of the private key is to decrypt data and should be stored securely. For example, if person A wanted to send a message to person B, person A would use his public key to encrypt the secret message and then send it to person B, who would decrypt it using his private key. Only person B would be able to see the secret message and not person C because he does not have access to the private key. Let's see how this would work mathematically. For our purposes, the message is just going to be high, which would be the numbers 8 and 9. You would insert the public key E equals 5 into the encryption equation M to the power of E mod N, where M is our message. If we do this for both characters, we obtain 8 and 11, which turn into HK, our ciphertext. To decrypt it, we would use our decryption key, d equals 11. These values would be inserted into the equation c to the power of d mod n, where c is the ciphertext. If we calculate this, we obtain our original result, 8 and 9. So, hi. Let's discuss how the public key and the private key would be generated. The first step would be to generate two random prime numbers, p and q. The second step would be to multiply them to obtain the variable n. The third step is to calculate the totient of n. The fourth step is to choose a number e, which should be in between 1 and the totient of n, and it should be co-prime with n and the totient of n. The last step is to choose a number d, where d times e mod totient of n should be equal to 1. p and q are around 600 digits long, which means n would usually be about 1200 digits long. It would at least take 2 to the power of 2048 tries for n to be factored into its two prime numbers. This makes RSA encryption very secure. Thank you for watching. I'm Devam Sisadraker, and I hope you learned more on how information is sent securely across the internet.